Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about working out the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. And in order to do that, I'm also going to assume that you are already familiar with working out determinants for 2x2 two two matrices. If not, do check out uh, the video tutorials on my website. Now, let's say then we've got this algebraic version of a 3x3 three three matrix. We'll tackle some numerical ones later on, but for now, this helps to show the method. So we'll give this matrix a name. Obviously, we can have any name that we like. Let's just say we call it the matrix A. Then the notation that you'll see for the determinant of A tends to be this. You'll see debt for determinant, and in this case, the matrix A. Mind you, you could well see other notation. Another common one is to have two vertical lines surrounding the name of the matrix, okay? So, determinant of A. Now, when we work out the determinant of A, the first thing we need to think of is associating plus minus signs with these elements here. And we start with the top left here and we associate this with a plus sign, okay? And then we switch the sign on the next element in the row. So this becomes a negative, and then we switch it back again to a positive for the next element in the row. And as we go down to this next row here, we switch this to a minus, then this to a positive, and this to a minus. And then on this row, back to a positive, then a minus, then a positive. So notice that in any row or any column, the signs keep alternating, okay? So we always start with a positive element there. Now, once we've got this configuration, then the next step is to take the, an element at the start of any row or any column. And it's quite common to see this first element taken, okay? Although I'll show you other examples where we start with another element in the beginning of any row or any column. So let's say then we start with this A here. It's a positive, so we just put A down here, okay? And then what we need to do is think of drawing two lines, one vertical, one horizontal, through A. Something like this, okay? And what it does, it leaves us with these four elements here, E, F, H, and I. And what we need to do then is multiply A by the determinant of these four elements in the order that you see here. So in other words, you get something like this, A times the determinant of E, F, H, I. And remember that to work out a determinant like this, you do E times I, minus h times f. And so that would all be multiplied with a. This is not the end of the determinant, okay? There's some more stages to put in. So what I'll do is I'll just remove these lines here. We now move on to the next element, say, in this row. And in this case, it would be b, but it's got a negative in front of it. So we now have negative b here. Just write that in. And so if b was, say, the number 3, then we would have, obviously, minus 3 here. But if b was an element that was minus 3, then obviously we've got minus, minus 3, and we would write that as plus 3. Okay, so I hope you get that idea. Anyway, so we go back to this element here, and we think of drawing a line vertically through B and horizontally through B. You don't have to draw these lines in. I'm sure you could imagine them in your mind, but just for the moment, it helps to draw them in. And that leaves us with these four elements, D, F, G, and I, okay? So we take them in that order and we multiply the negative B by that determinant. So you get something like this, the determinant of DFGI. And remember, again, this is DI minus GF. Okay, 
Still not finished. We've got one more step to do. You might have guessed what it's going to be. I'll just remove these lines at the moment. OK, so if we remove those lines, we now move on to this third element in the row, the plus C. So we just write plus C there and we now multiply plus C with a determinant. That determinant is found by thinking of drawing a vertical line through C and a horizontal line through C. So it's going to leave us with those elements D, E, G and H as you'll see here, OK, when I put those lines in. So we'll multiply C then with that determinant. So that would be DH minus G. And that's it, OK? That's the calculation that would work out the determinant of A. If we started with A and worked across that row there. Now, it's not the only way, as I said earlier. There's many other ways that we can do this. For instance, suppose we were to work across this row here, the D, E and F, then the method for working out the determinant would be this. Remember, though, that we have got a negative sign associated with this element D, so it's going to be minus D. We would draw a line vertically through the D and horizontally, and that leaves us with the elements B, C, H and I to work out that determinant. We would then move on to the next element in that row, the plus E. So we've got plus E here. Think about those two lines drawn through there. As I say, you don't have to draw them on, but it would leave us with the elements A, C, G and I, and that would form that determinant. And similarly, for the last element in that row, it's going to be minus F, multiplied by the determinant that we get when we draw the lines through F. And that will be A, B, G and H. OK, so that's that example. Now, the next one, you might like to have a go and see if you uh, get the same result as I do. Let's suppose, for instance, you were to go with this row, starting with the G, OK? So just give you a moment to pause the video and jot down what you think the answer would be. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So let's see, that would be this result here. So again, we start with G here, and then it goes minus H here, and then plus I here. And for those determinants, remember, for the G, just think of that line down there and across there, and that leaves you with B, C, E and F. OK, and similar results then for those two. I'm sure you don't need me to draw those lines in anymore. OK, so uh, one more example. Let's suppose this time, instead of doing rows, we go for columns. And let's go for this middle column here. OK, so we'd go with the B, the E and the H. So again, you might like to jot down what you think this would be. OK, so just pause the video and when you come back, I'll give you the solution. OK, so if you did do that column there, this is the result that you'd get. It's going to be minus B times the determinant, E times the corresponding determinant, and then minus H times the corresponding determinant. So for the minus B, it's corresponding determinant. Just remember, draw a line down through there and across there, and you're left with those elements, D, F, G, and I. D, F, G, and I. And similar methods then for when you choose the uh, e here, got a line down there and a line across there, and you can see you're left with A, C, G and I. OK, A, C, G and I. And lastly, when you've got that element H here, draw those two lines in and you're left with A, C, D, F. All right. So I've got other examples that you could do and so on. OK, I'm sure you could work out the determinant of A if you started to use this column here, OK, or this column down here. So do experiment and uh, put down your results, OK? So 
That brings us now to the end of this tutorial then on finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So in the next tutorial what I'll do is run through some numerical examples.